Hi everyone, Darcy here. I just thought I'd quickly show you a little box that arrived in the letterbox this week. Um, this is from a company called Scrawler and they are an art subscription company. Um, they don't sell individual supplies. They you, you sign up and you pay £15 a month and each month you get a surprise box of supplies. Um, I've been wanting to try them for a while at the moment I just can't afford a subscription to them but I was lucky enough to spot that they had a competition on Twitter uh, recently. All I needed to do was retweet one of their original tweets from the company and a few days later my name was picked and I was lucky enough to win this box. I was very um, impressed with the speed of delivery. Uh, the box is A5 size so that measures 24 centimetres by 16 centimetres and um, it is two centimetres deep. So there was no need to wait in for it, there was no need to have um, a signature for it. It went through the letterbox quite easily and it was there waiting for me when I got home. So I have already opened it because I originally recorded this video um, of me opening it all up and the sound didn't work. So here I am doing it again. So inside the box, um, you find a little package that is wrapped in tissue paper. I'll put that aside just for a moment. And there are two pieces of paper in this particular box. You get different supplies every month. These pieces of paper are smooth on one side and textured on the other. And they are uh, for pastel um, pencils. Uh, they're a really nice uh, 160 gram piece of paper. You will also see a piece of artwork in each of the boxes. A uh, different artist each month is the featured artist um, and it shows you a really nice piece of artwork there that's printed out on a heavyweight piece of card. It's really nice. So that would be something really good just to collect each month. It's going to broaden your circle of artists that you might follow. On the back it tells you all about this particular artist and it gives you um, places online where you can find them so you can follow their artwork and, and see what they're up to. So we shall pop that in the bottom there for now and let's have a look at what's in the little package. When it arrives it is neatly fastened up, as I say I've already opened this one. It has a little scroller um, sticker there which is their, their logo. And if we open it up, what have we got inside? Well to start off we have a sticker. Um, I think you get a sticker each month, I'm not sure about that. Again, that's the name of the company and you can pop that onto the front of journal or inside a journal. There's a little um, heavyweight card um, index sheet there which tells you about the supplies that have arrived and also Scrawler issue a challenge with each of their boxes. Um, this month's channel challenge, sorry, it says is Honeybee. So I'm guessing you interpret that any way that you wish. Um, and once you've finished your challenge and you've made something with your supplies, they really like it if you link up um, your project and show them what you've made. So there's also um, a sweetie, or actually this is bubblegum. So I shall save that for later. Okay, in this box we have some really nice pencils. I have to say I'm a huge fan of Faber-Castell and we have some Polychromos pencils here. We have the black and the white and the three coloured ones are cream, uh, dark cadmium orange and middle cadmium red. Really good quality. We also have this little gadget, um, it's by Tombow, another great uh, brand. This is actually an eraser, uh, it has um, the eraser comes out at the front and you can buy refills for it which is always a, a bonus and if I just show you it's like a pen so you click the end and you push the eraser out that's going to be really handy it's a really small um, eraser so that's going to be great for getting into small areas and details always handy a little pencil sharpener I happen to be a big fan of these small um, metal ones this is only a one hole one I do usually prefer the one that has two holes for different sizes of pencils, but, but this will get lots of use. And there's also this magic marker twin tip. It has a chisel. Oh gosh, I can't get into it. There's a quite chunky chisel tip at one end. 
and the other end is a pointed bullet tip. So those are going to be great to use as well. I really like markers. Now I was really curious as to the value of the box and how it all worked out. So I went online and I have done some research. Now if you're really lucky you have an art shop nearby, you can perhaps walk into your art shop and buy all of these items in one go. That's simply not possible for me, I don't have an art shop near me. So I would have to buy all of these items online. And uh, I know for a fact that most places simply do not carry such a huge selection, you wouldn't be able to get all of them in, in one place or on one website. And that was the case. I had a look um, for all of these items and I found that I could get the pencils in from one website, the eraser and the pencil sharpener from another website, the pen from yet another one, and in the fourth place I found the pastel paper. Now in total, um, all of these items, uh, these supplies, came to just over £15. So bearing in mind that the subscription for the box is £15, you are getting your money's worth. You've also got to remember that with this £15 subscription, within the UK, there is no postage fee. So you are already ahead because you're not paying postage. You're getting, you're paying £15, you're getting £15 worth of supplies, you're not having to pay postage. So that's great in itself, to know that you are actually getting your money's worth. But then when I looked at these four different sets of, of items online in the four different websites that I went to, I then calculated how much postage I would have to pay from those four different websites. The postage alone for these items came to just over £10. If I had bought all of these by myself from four different websites, in total it would have cost me just over £25. But here they are all for 15 although as I said I won this box so they haven't actually cost me anything but I wanted to show you just what the value of these supplies were and how much it would cost if you were to buy them all separately. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, as I say £15 a month for one box, you can sign up just for one if you wish to try them out. Um, it's a little bit cheaper if you buy six boxes you pay for them all in advance and I believe if you sign up for 12 it's even cheaper again I think you actually do get 12 boxes for the price of 11 if I'm not mistaken so that is an excellent deal um, I would love a subscription for this for a whole year I think it'd be a really great gift if you have a birthday coming up perhaps ask for one of these Christmas is not too far away so perhaps put it on your Christmas list I would say that the um, because the supplies are secret you don't know what you're getting until they arrive. You do need to be um, a general kind of artist. Um, I love all supplies. As a mixed major artist, I'm quite happy to use absolutely everything. Pens, pencils, paint, paper, fabric, whatever you want to throw at me, I'm quite happy to use. If you are an artist who is very specific in the materials that you use, perhaps you only use paint, you only use markers, you only use pencils, this subscription is possibly not the thing for you because there will be things that arrive that you possibly can't use. But if you are just a lover of supplies, you love mixing stuff up, um, you love trying new stuff, then I think this is a really great idea. There will be things in here you have never heard of before. Um, I've never heard of this particular brand before. Um, although I've heard of Tombow, I've never seen this particular eraser. Um, I do have a pen type eraser, but mine is much bigger. So this one has got a really, really fine tip. Sorry, there can you see? It's really small. That's going to be great for getting into small places. Um, I already have Faber Castell Polychromos pencils, so I know that these are really excellent um, pencils. And after researching this paper, I very quickly found that it's favoured by quite a lot of artists. Um, it's a very good quality paper. Um, I believe what I read it had 45% cotton in it um, so yeah and, and it has a real nice feel to it with a smooth side and um, a slightly textured side so you're not getting um, rubbish from these boxes you are getting really good supplies so yeah if um, if you're a general artist if you love getting happy mail and surely we all like happy mail if you like getting a surprise of uh, art supplies each month if you like to try new things 
things you never heard of before, things perhaps you've heard of but um, you've never been able to try, this would be a good idea. Some items in the art world only come in huge sets, they're really expensive, it's, it's just out of the price range for a lot of people. So to get odd ones, bits and pieces for you to try out, this is a really good way to introduce you to various different brands, different mediums that you could then decide for yourself whether you really like them and go on to buy a full set. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed. Um, I, I, can't, I can't think of anything negative to say about it. Um, if you love general supplies, then yeah, definitely go for it. I would like to say a um, big thumbs up to Scrawler for, um, for being such an innovative little company, for sending these supplies out. And uh, an even bigger thank you for this prize that I received as part of um, a Twitter competition. And so this little card, the index sheet, it does tell you about each of the supplies that arrive. So there's a section for each of those um, the supplies, there's the pencils, the eraser, the marker um, and, and the paper at the bottom there. So everything is explained for you if in case you haven't heard of the brands before. And on the opposite side is the, ch the challenge. Um, this one just says honeybee. So I guess you, interpret that any way you wish. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. I, say, I really love Polychromos pencils. I do know that they are fantastic quality. These colours, uh, the red one, red, black and, and white would be perfect for me. I'm not as keen on the yellow and the orange. They are not my favourite colours. I have to say I have a rather an aversion to yellow. Um, but they are great complementary colours to work in with others, with other hues. So they will definitely get used um, and I am going to try and use everything that's come here today um, with this challenge and I shall report back and uh, show you what I've made if it turns out okay. Thanks.